You will remember my next guest from Love Island last year. Well, since leaving that show, Sharon Gafka has been very busy indeed, campaigning to raise awareness of drink spiking after becoming a victim of it herself. But now, in a different direction, she's hoping to qualify for Miss Universe to represent Great Britain. Sharon, it's lovely to see you. I had no idea that Miss Universe was still a thing. Yeah. It was still going on. It's quite... <laughs> it's quite these beauty pageants, if you want to call them that, they're quite different now, though, aren't they? Yeah, I think um, Miss Universe has been going for, I think this will be 72nd year. Wow. So it has been going for a long time. And, you know, I think a lot of people have this really weird misconception about what pageants used to be like versus what they are now. Um, you know, I really support Miss Universe's, like, mission to support international female organisations and charities. And also with Miss Universe, people don't realise that they also allow transgender contestants. They're very forward okay. thinking. Um, well, women are women, right? Well, yeah, no, I, I <laughs> very that, much support the move. Yeah. And yeah, and, and um, we had, um, I think we've only had one transgender contestant so far, but it's, it's amazing how they- It's very embracing. But at the end of the day, it's still about what you look like and what your body's like, as well as, your personality and all of these other things? Um, I mean, yes, slightly, but everybody's beautiful in their own different way. It's really Thank cliche you. for me to say that, but... No, it you know, mean it's not true. I, don't, I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, but in everyone's opinion, you know, I probably could sit there and say there were girls on that stage when I won Miss International UK that had better bodies than me, that might have looked better than me, true. but, like, you know, there's other it's qualities. About the package. Yeah, there's, it's about it is about the package, and, you know, yeah. the final show and the evening dress is just the bow on top of the present, essentially. Oh. So. Well, good luck, because you'll Thank be representing you. us. So good luck <laughs> with that. Now, as well as that, though, it's very interesting, because after Love Island, it's, it's a funny one, isn't it, because it gives you a lot of attention. Of course, some of it not so great, it has to be said. Yep. <laughs> Most of it pretty positive. But you used that to be a campaigner and also to be an agony aunt as well. How did all yeah. that come about? <laughs> Tell me about being an um, agony aunt, first of all. Yeah, it's, to be fair, my friends, I think my friends found it quite amusing about me being an agony aunt because <laughs> the idea of me giving anyone advice is probably quite comical to them. Well, you, you've <laughs> gone through a lot in your life. You've gone through a lot, so you've yeah. got a lot of experience to draw on. I mean, yeah, in 26 years, I feel like I've, I've done a lot. But, um, <laughs> you know, I've, I mean, I've been... Um, an activist, like a self-proclaimed feminist since I was 16 years old and I, I didn't want Love Island to change me who I, change who I am as a person or to change the direction of my life that I'd already put myself on. I just wanted it to be kind of a springboard into something else or to make it bigger than it already was and I feel like I've, I've done really well in, in continuing what no, I was No, absolutely. It depends. I mean, it depends what you, you're going in for in a sense, yeah. doesn't it? Because you are an activist. You have said that you want to be in Parliament and Sharon, for goodness sake, do we have need something <laughs> you know some integrity in there we, we, we really do genuinely what sort of difference do you think you can make I think one thing is with um, Parliament at the moment, I find that, you know, I feel like young people are very much overlooked because they don't have very many young voices in there that have, mm -hmm. that it's understand true. the same problems that young people are facing now. You know, it's really hard to be able to fix something that you have no idea about. Um, and for me, I want to put massive emphasis on protection of women, um, people, young people's education, and, you know, making sure that young people are afforded the same opportunities that, that my parents were really fortunate to have. You know, yeah. COVID's put um, young people very much on the back foot in terms of even things like driving um, and pass yes. their driving test and I, I want to make sure point. that you know we've yeah. we we don't leave them behind and that they don't struggle in the future as a result no absolutely of it. I mean we know there's going to be a huge problem with uh, with mental health and and you're right I hadn't even thought about the driving thing the backlog that there's going to be and that's a big deal when you're like 17 and you learn how to drive it's like a big it's a big thing yeah. in your life you also campaign for something that um is, is is really shocking and and sadly is getting worse which is spiking drinks when you go to a bar you cannot leave. I remember my, my daughter came back from Singapore and I had to say to her, in Singapore, you can leave your drink at the bar. Yeah. You can, of course. You can't do that here. No. So you've got to always, and, and all the, your girls have to look after you. You know, yeah. they really do. Because you got your drink spiked and that's horrible. Yeah, I it's think terrifying, actually. It's really scary. It is. And I think one thing that I'm really trying to tackle is the lack of awareness and education around it. Because, you know, it is a, an abhorrent crime. Mm. It's awful. And the things that it can do to somebody physically, mentally and emotionally, especially if a secondary crime takes place after, is horrific. But I think one thing that I'm really struggling to tackle is people's misconceptions of it. Um, you know, people automatically assume it is the victim's fault. There's something that they must have done or something they could have done differently. And I really want to tackle victim shaming because even when secondary crime takes place, then it goes very unreported because people are scared of the shame that they feel. And, you know, 
I guarantee talking to you about this when I leave, I'm going to see something on Twitter that says it was my fault or I'm doing this but for attention. Or... Would it be your fault when somebody does that to you? I mean, yeah, I, I, mean, I that's, agree. That's ho it's a horrible crime because actually it could it could just be something like it makes you feel absolutely awful. Maybe you feel terrible, but the potential for damage for somebody to really inflict terrible damage on someone and to assault someone sexually. It's horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. It, is. it really is. So more power to you for doing that. That's something I know that you're really, really strong on, which is great. Thank you. It yes. really is. And one day, maybe, in the House of Parliament, we might see an MP, might see you doing that. Maybe. It depends on the next general election is we could see it at the next one. Well, it might be sooner <laughs> than we think, well, Sharon. Yeah. <laughs> Although, who knows? I mean, every day there's a different revelation and, and, and who knows what's going on. Good luck with Miss Universe. I always Thank think you. Miss Universe is quite funny because you, you don't see candidates from Mars or Jupiter or any other universe. <laughs> <laughs> It's very unfair on them, actually. You thought you said it was inclusive. Oh, yeah, maybe in the future. We do have to take baby steps, I think, in that one. Exactly. So good to see you. Thank you. Good luck with everything that you do and keep in touch with us because this campaign you're doing on spiking is very, very important. Thank, Thank you very you. much for having me. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.